Hello, everybody. Sports champ in the ATL. Sports champion in the ATL. Sports two-time, two-time 2021 champion. Sports one-time, 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 four-time champion since 2018. Makes your acquaintance here on this Monday, frigid, cold. Snow's about uh, dissipated, still a little patches. I did hear that it could be snowing again next this weekend on Friday or something like that. That would be nice. I'll tell you what, if it's going to snow, excuse me, the way it snowed yesterday was perfect. About two inches maybe, 2.5, somewhere around there. It stuck. No power outages. Wasn't really freezing. Was able to came down nice. Was able to go outside back and forth, enjoy it. It was great. So I, I you saw the videos I posted. If that that that's how I want it to snow. I don't want no mega blizzards like nine, ten, twenty feet and all that. <coughs> Although if I was retired, that would be okay with me. But you see that that's that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of snow that I want. All right, there was no Monday premiere as you could tell. I had a busy day yesterday. Uh, what I wanted to get a little bit of extra sleep uh, coming into the day. Uh, my next stream will be this weekend either saturday night or sunday uh, i'm look if whatever game is i don't know what game if you can y'all can comment below if tennessee um san francisco uh play and tampa pay play on either a saturday night at eight or anytime sunday i will stream the games even if i got to do maybe two in one gate one day because like I said, being a Falcons fan, we know what we don't have. Funny people can keep coming on here trying to, you know, compare what they've done to my team. I already own it. I own that my Falcons haven't won anything. So, I mean, when they boast that argument, it's it's ridiculous. If it holds no water. It doesn't get me mad because I don't dispute it. You know, Falcons haven't won any damn rings. We're over two in Super Bowls. we got the biggest choke in Super Bowl history, yeah, blah, blah. You know, so when y'all when come that, it just makes you sound dumb. Find something new. I own it. Uh, but there's no misconception on what I want to see happen. You know, the Pudats missing the playoffs, that was great. Uh, Dan Quinn getting eliminated, that was great, although I would have preferred it to be this coming weekend. But anytime Dan Quinn gets eliminated is great because he was a heavy contributor contributor to our choke and the last couple of years of just terrible piss-ass defense. Just horrible. So I did get satisfaction, obviously, in watching Dan Quinn uh, lose. Not Dallas, Dan Quinn. For me, it's about the individual that I root against, not about the team. San Francisco, I don't hate the 49ers. Never have. I dislike Kyle Shanahan. A lot of y'all Niner fans take it personal. Like, oh, no, I don't care about what y'all do. If y'all win the Super Bowl, that's great, as long as it doesn't have Dan Quinn or Kyle Shanahan involved. Capiche, do you understand that? It's not that hard a concept to understand. So, yes, I'm going to continue to rag on you. I don't think Kyle Shanahan goes up to Green Bay and wins. I don't think 49ers beat the Packers. I could be wrong. I didn't see y'all beating Dallas. Golf clap. Yay! Sarcastic. Okay. I don't care who wins the Super Bowl as long as it's not. The remainder, Tampa Bay. I hope they play the Rams. Um... Tennessee Titans with Julio Jones. All of a sudden, he's hurt all year, and he comes back for the playoffs. No respect. I want to see him fail and some of these arrogant Titan fans out there. Yeah, I told y'all. Y'all ain't winning the Super Bowl. All that hype. And Kyle Shanahan. I've made no secret about it. I've made no bones about it, and it is what it is. I do have a bet I got to finish um, with the Saints fan. It's a Gatorade bet that I that he made with me many months ago about the game week 18. I'm not going to touch the you know the whole topic of, of this individual. My belief, look, I don't watch everything that, that's on YouTube, so I don't know everything that goes on. Okay, you're cool with me. I'm cool with you. He offered, he asked for a simple bet. That's great. I don't really watch him. He doesn't really watch me. But a Gatorade bet, a bet is a bet. And if nobody likes it, that's your problem, not mine. All that other stuff has nothing to do with me because I don't involve myself in that. And like I said, you, you, you can't, you, you can't, just one, one issue. You can't have things, people harass you and all that if you ignore them. You interject yourself and you hang around um, areas and streams and stuff that that happens. 
it's going to happen. If you know an individual is, you know, is sensitive and, and he's very combative, leave him alone. Don't get on the negative side because also hypocritical. There are a lot of people out there who, who uh, hang around people on YouTube who've done things, you know, stupid things, obviously, but y'all still interact with them. No difference here. You know, so you're good to me. I'm good to you. I'm good to you. You're good to me. Y'all blah, blah, blah. Green is red. Red is blue. Sun comes up. Moon. It's like sun goes down. Sun goes up. You know, all that stuff. So like I said, it ain't nothing to do with me. And opinions of me mean nothing. Capiche on that. No disrespect, but don't come at me with all that stuff. I'm honoring a bet that I made. I don't watch a lot of stuff going on, so you must excuse him why if I don't understand and see everything that goes on because I don't spend all my time on YouTube like that, okay? So anyway, moving forward, look for that tonight. It's going to be two uh, yellow Gatorades in the tub over my head. I already talked to this individual. I'm not going to have it cold because... I, you can tell I have a cold and I don't want to pour something directly cold over my head So I'm gonna get it off the shelf um, And just pour it over my head. So look for that tonight. I'll get that out of the way and no more bets Nobody's gonna coerce me into doing a bet. I'm not doing a bet I'm just gonna sit back and laugh at Kyle Shanahan get eliminated Tom Pape get an egomaniac eliminated and Tennessee and Julio Jones eliminated and then the rest of y'all can go fight for the Lombardi because I know what it's like to want to fight for a championship because I've won two of them in the last three months. <laughs> the champ will see you in the next one. And don't worry, Steelers, I got the box waiting for you.